Welcome to www.stakingkings.com and it's your home of staking software and this will lead you to hunting success. All you need is a few decent selections and we're ready to go. This video has a look at the new Winform Power Play. Okie doke. So we look at our menu up above and we've got Power Play and the first thing we've got to do is organize to manage our accounts. Okay, let's set up an account name. Call this one YouTube Demo. Okay, any notes? We can put any notes about our system in there. And these are selections from Horse Racing AUSTRALIA dot INFO. So, in actual fact, We'll put it right and say H, there we go, www.horseracingaustralia.info. Okay, now for our series, we're going to say, well, how much do we want to bet? Let's start with a $500 series, which uh, will give us a base bet of, say, 1% is $5. And let's assume that the strike rate of our uh, selections is going to be fairly low, let's say uh, 15%. Okay, let's create an account. Anybody can pine uh, one winner in six, wouldn't you agree? Okie doke. Now that's done. So the account has been created. So now let's uh, have a look up here. And let's go to Power Play. Betting Series. We can choose the betting series we've just created. YouTube Demo. And we can start on this series, which is based on only having $500. Uh, let's start now here with a race meeting at um, Hong Kong. And we'll call that race one. Now, betting accounts, what we can do here, once we've set up our betting accounts, let's say we take a bet on this one at Bet Easy. Okay, and let's say for your argument's sake, our top selected runner in this race is paying $5. Okay, we've got that, that's a percentage of 20%, and um, we're going to have $5 on this, and the recoup will leave alone. But we'll just add the $5 in first. And you can see now that that bet has appeared down here. Hong Kong race one, and it's our first bet. Now, our second bet might be the horse's name might be Ace, and the odds for this one might be ten dollars, and we can add that runner. Okay, so we want to run at a maximum of three runners, and you can see here that the odds in total that we're putting at the moment are thirty percent. Okay, let's call horse three uh, Shark. How's that? And let's say we're having this one at uh, Big Tab. And the odds on this one are $11. So, okay, we've outlaid 39% if we include that one. Okay. We add that one in, and now what we've got is three selections here, and we're hoping one of those is going to win. But we don't want it to win because otherwise we can't demonstrate how the program works. What you do need is probably to average at least. Uh, with two selections per race, on average, we want to be sure we're going to win roughly one race in three. Okay, now to put in our results, all we've got to do is click the dividend column there. There's a zero. We can save the changes. And we'll click this one in. And that lost, we'll save the changes. And this one, we'll save the changes on that. Okay, so I've had three selections, we haven't had a winner yet. That's okay. Alright, let's say Hong Kong 2, and let's say the horse's name is valid. Okay, and the odds of this one is 11, and we'll simply add that bit in. Then we'll take our second one, and uh, good guys, the horse we're having in this one, and the odds of that might be $5.5. 5 whoops, 5.5. .5. Now, you'll notice as we put it in, we've got our base bet, so we've got a level stakes base bet in every race. And now we've added two dollars to try and get back the losses from the first race. Okay, so far we're only up to 27%. So we're doing well. Now, do we want to put a third third horse in here? Why not? There we are. We'll call it why not. Okay, why not? And let's uh, say this horse is four dollars. You can see here once again we've got a base bet and we've added a recoup bet on of two dollars. 
and the odds are 52% here all together. And when we add that one in, we've now got three runners down here, as it turns out, $7 on each at this very low starting point. All right, now let's say, for example, we made a mistake with this one. Then we can highlight the name of the horse, okay, and we might have really got odds of 6.7, okay, and we've forgotten to put where we took the bet, so we might put that in, okay, that's on the TAB. We'll save the changes, and there everything is saved, but let's assume that all of these horses lose. That's a fairly good assumption for most of us, and we get loser after loser after loser, okay. Alright, let's say by this time we're in Hong Kong race 3 and uh, we're on Pool. And this time those odds are only $3 for that particular horse. You can see now that we've got a base bet of $5. Our recoup bet has increased to $5 because we're trying to get money back for those bets we've lost. Now we might think that horse is pretty much of a standout. So therefore we might go with just that one horse and we put that on there. And we find that the dividend is paid as $3. We save the changes. And have a look here. We can see that the line has gone blue. We have collected $16. Our balance is now minus 16. So what's happened now? We haven't recouped all the money we've lost. But we've reduced the amount we've lost. So let's go now and Hong Kong race 4. And sorry. Okay. And that horse might be $10. And we add that horse in. Our uh, yeah, next horse might be whoops, and uh, that's uh, at seven dollars. And you'll see here it's a five dollar base bet. Once again, we're back to a recoup of two dollars. And this one is special because this is a special horse, and really it's only paying four dollars fifty. So we're not going to get a real lot of money out of this if it gets. But let's see what happens. Okay, so let's assume now. We're, fine. we're down to minus $37 here, and the total bet we've had on any of these horses is $7. Well, unfortunately, they all lost. This particular horse lost in a photo. Okay. Now, we better uh, see if we can get... Are we up to race 6? Well, too bad if we're not. Oops, let's go back here and put in HK6. Whoops. Let's put it into HK6, and... Um, Horse we can put in the sky, and let's say we're getting ten dollars for that one, and we add that one in. The next horse we put in is reference, and that horse is paying five dollars, so we add that one in. Now notice there that the uh, dividends are slightly changed. So this is a ten dollar horse, and we don't have to have as much on that to get our money back. And this one is at five dollars, and we don't have to have a, we have a little bit extra, but not a whole lot. Okay. Let's assume this one lost, and let's say this one actually drifted a little bit in the market and paid us a result of $5.40. So we saved those changes. What's happened now is, you can see here that we've gone green. So in other words, this horse has won. We've collected $59 on the race, and we now have a total loss column is minus one, so we're actually in profit, and our overall profit is $1. So... We've had all these bets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bets. You can see here we've got a strike rate of 17%. The average dividend is $4.20. Okay, do So, we add on the 3 and the 5 here, we've got a total of $8.40. We would lose money at that. But, because we've run the program, we've actually made a dollar. So we're going to transfer that dollar out now. It mightn't be impressive making a dollar. But nevertheless, we've made a dollar, so let's uh, close the series. Okay. And we've selected the series account. As you can see here, you can transfer that. So, um, from the 12 bets we had, there were two wins. And our total dividends of uh, $8.40. So, a dead set loss of 30%. Instead, we've made a profit of 1%. We transferred that across. Now, if we wanted to go back and see how we've done overall, we can go back and look at the reports. Okay. Now, the reason there's a drop-down box is because we can run as many different systems in this as we like. So we've run this uh, one system, but we could run three or four and change from race to race according to what's happening. Okie doke.
So what we've got now, we've got a total report here, and it tells us all the bets we've had, what our results are, and we can print that account out and keep it. Once we've printed it out, we can delete the bets. If we don't delete the bets, what's going to happen is, they're going to be saved to our website. And the next time you enter your username and password, all the information will be waiting for you to start ready again. I hope that's a good explanation of what happens. Now, just one more thing. Let's go to the Stakes and Kings home page. Alright, so I've told you how to use Stakes and Kings and so on. Let's go to the account page. Now, if for example we've opted uh, on this one and to just have the basic free Dutch, and we've decided that instead of that we want one of these other options. What will happen is, if we've already subscribed to that, instead of a pay with MasterCard, Visa or PayPal button, the button will say cancel. Okay, so what you would do, you would press the button to cancel. Once you've done that, you would come back here, log back in, and you would choose which of these you wanted to do. And just by the way, when you do either of these, or any one of these, you do get that one included, so you'd be able to come back and see everything that you already had previously. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll leave now.